So a quick look at some other patterns that we see quite regularly, uh, flags and pennants. Uh, take a moment to look at this <clears throat> at this graph here. Uh, we got bullish and bearish patterns once again, that's always the case. Um, but these are patterns that are quite common in charts and they are seen as, uh, as you can read, continuation patterns. And they usually signal a brief pause in a trend, uh, after which trend continues. So um, important is the, we talk about flags because you can see uh, if you also consider the, 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 the line here, that that is called the flag pole and this, these two diagonal lines are considered the flag. So that's why they are called uh, bull flags and bear flags. And in this case, a bullish pennant and in that case, a bearish pennant. So I want to keep this lesson short, but um, let's look at our chart. In this case, uh, Bitcoin again. So uh, a good example is this one. This can be seen, although the move isn't that, that strong downwards, maybe in just one single line, but we are trending downwards nonetheless. And the, you can see the shape of somewhat of a pennant. Uh, the same happens here, but the other way around. Um, and we, I've got a couple of clearer examples. So this is a typical example of a bear flag. So you can see the, if I draw my line here, you can see the pole clearly. Um, and then price starts to consolidate at this level and you can draw your lines and ultimately it's a bear flag. Now, one important uh, aspect here is that you can use, for example, the bottom line. You've just had a very big sell off, uh, what they call on a four hour time frame. So that's a medium uh, time frame, uh, giving you a pretty good signal. And this bottom line of the bear flag you could use to uh to open your trade or if you would have if you were wrong and you thought that price would re reverse back up um underneath this line you could place your stop loss uh in that way you are not affected by this entire move downwards all the way from uh this was in um november 2018 uh, all the way from 5500 uh, to somewhere around yeah 36 3400 or something so stop loss here you can base that on this pattern uh, a couple of more quick looks. So uh, price started to reverse here. I hope that by now you are uh, able to identify uh, trends, trend lines like this. This is a little bit rough, um, but you see that price reverses on high volume and after its first advance starts to consolidate and it forms a flag. So if you were to think that, uh, if you could have, you could have been wrong here, of course, thinking that price would go down, your stop loss would have been uh, ideal somewhere above this level. And of course, you could also incorporate uh, horizontal levels uh, on this, uh, like work together with horizontal levels to get a good idea of where to place your stop loss. Fun fact about a stop loss is you can use it to close your trades, but you can also use it to open your trades. So uh, a stop loss in that it doesn't stop your loss, but it actually opens up a position. And you could do this based on this diagonal line. How that works, that we're going to uh, discuss in chapter four. Um, I don't want to get into that right now. Uh, I'm not sure if I've posted some other examples. Uh, yeah, here a small one. Um, a bull flag and here a bearish flag once again. So you can see that by drawing these lines, at least you have a bigger chance of protecting your capital when the market really turns against you. Um, yeah, most recent example could be this one. I'm not sure uh, yet, but this is something I'm eyeing right now. Uh, just draw the lines and whether it's a flag or a pennant, it doesn't really matter to me. What is important is the underlying forces that are creating these patterns. So uh, in my opinion right now, this is a moment to pay attention that if uh, price were to break this level here, so let's zoom in a little bit. I've just drawn this line. If price were to break below that, well, then we could start uh, look perhaps at horizontal levels. So um, let's look at the horizontal level. Perhaps we could uh, like the multiple touches somewhere here. This could be a short-term price target and either it could fall further uh, down from that, or uh, price could touch that one more time before moving up again. So it's all about trying to make sense of your chart and uh, flags and pennants are just another tool that you can use to do so. See you in the next video.